Hey, what's up guys? Brett here from FBA Excel with another Ninja Hack video. I just wanna kinda of update everyone on the new Search Query Commander tool. We've got a new Chrome extension out now as well that you can really get some solid data uh, directly from Seller Central really efficiently. So I wanted to just quickly show you the refined process here. I've got some of the kind of Amazon-centric reports selected, impression share, advertised products, search term report, brand analytics. I got my Cerebro report. Um, I've got my rank tracking file for Helium 10, and I've got uh, two sources for the Chrome extension toggled here. As far as downloading the data from the Chrome extension, it's super easy. You basically just log into your Seller Central really quick and fire up the Chrome extension. You're going to pick the Amazon market. You can pick a list of ASINs. I've just got one here as an example. Um, you can either append everything all into one file if you have like uh, multiple child ASINs you want to put into a parent for the search query commander, or you can separate them out into their individual child ASIN files. Uh, you can do multiple weeks at one time. So just as an example, you can check those. Uh, hit download file. It's gonna kick out a kind of output file. All right, so there you go. You're gonna actually save it to a Google Drive folder that is set up so it can automatically import all the data. So you've got like an Amazon report here. You can see I've already got one saved. It's SQR simple, that's the weekly version. Um, so you would just save that to that folder and you'd get out of it. So the search query details is gonna give you insights on your top 10 uh, ASINs for every search query and let you see kind of where you stack up related to clicks and impressions. So it's exactly the same. You just pick your market, pick the ASINs. You can put in a list of ASINs. Um, pick the weeks that you want to download the data for. I'm just going to grab the most recent and you'll click on either of these since I only have one ASIN does the same thing. So I'm just going to click download and then we're just going to save this file right back to the Amazon folder and we should be good to go. If I do want to download additional reports, there's a really efficient uh, way. It's going to actually take you to Seller Central and you just download the files and you put them in the folder. As you can see here, I've got my search term report, search term impression share report, brand analytics, advertised products. Similarly, I can get my rank data. Um, I can get my Cerebro data really quick and efficient. And then once you've got all that data saved in your Google Drive folder, it's as easy as clicking import. All right, so there you go. You can see our impression share file came in. There's our advertised products. All right, and then once all of that data comes in in bulk, you're just gonna get a uh, prompt there that confirms everything. And now you're pretty much ready to rock. So we can come down here and click on the weekly view. And you can see we've got all of our we weekly search career performance data in here. It's really easy to read. There's a lot of filters and kind of advanced custom groups that you can expand on. Um, what I really like with that details report though is you can actually get insights now on your top 10 position related to uh, all the competition for uh, clicks and impressions. Uh, we'll have click-through rates and stuff in here soon. You can kind of bounce that off of the brain analytics data as well, uh, as well as you know advanced uh, keyword data. You've got all your search query data, ads data, all of that in line that you can really start making better decisions. If we go over to some of these other views, so this view has a really slick kind of visual representation of your entire search funnel compared to the market and you can get an idea over time uh, with each week kind of how you're performing versus the market quick indicator here on search query recommendations for every search query in your database um, then you've got the ability to track events down here to kind of make them display so campaign you'll see that it's going to display on the tables so it really gives you a good uh, system if you're trying to make intentional improvements to certain search queries, certain ranking opportunities, stuff like that. And the last view here is actually my favorite. So this is going to combine kind of everything all in one place uh, with respect to keyword ranking, advertising data, search query performance data. Uh, it actually sorts it by default by purchases. You can see how your click-through rate versus and conversion rate versus the market are faring any of these that are both colored means you're in better shape than the market uh, so they can really help you prioritize your search query performance list and data set uh, to make incremental gains each week so um, the other the other really slick thing about this is if you click on these expand buttons it's going to give you the data week to week to week so you can really get an idea how you're 
uh, data is changing, you know, with each week, and then also just again see all that overlaid with rank and in, in the critical performance data. So, I uh, just want to shoot this really quick, show you some more advanced kind of insights that some of our top users are getting. This tool is getting better and better by the week. So. Uh, if you're doing the, the Search Query Performance Analysis manual, highly suggest you check out Search Query Commander. You're just doing it wrong if you're not using it, in my opinion. It's, it's so efficient, it's so powerful, and it's just going to get better. So check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next training. See ya.